Ever since designer Geoffrey de Havilland produced his first aircraft, the DH-1, for the aircraft manufacturing company during the First World War, the name of de Havilland has been synonymous with aviation, particularly in the British Commonwealth. A number of de Havilland types were displayed at this year's air show. First up were the Chipmunks, a record nine aircraft of the type making the journey to Omaka this year. The Chipmunk was designed by de Havilland Canada in 1946 to replace the aging Tiger Moth that had been used to train Commonwealth pilots since 1931. The two-seat tandem aircraft proved very successful and the RAF immediately adopted the aircraft as their standard primary trainer. It eventually equipped all 17 of the University Air Squadrons and many of the volunteer reserve flying schools. De Havilland Canada produced 217 chipmunks, while De Havilland in England produced a further thousand aircraft during the late 1940s and into the 1950s. The primary difference between the Canadian and English examples being in the canopy. Canadian chipmunks sport a bubble canopy, while the English versions have a sliding multi-panel canopy. The Dragon went into production in 1930 and was a modified version of a design initially intended to produce a light bomber for the Iraqi Air Force. 202 aircraft of the type were produced before production ended in 1937, with a number of these aircraft being supplied to Denmark, Iraq and Portugal. Over a third of the aircraft built were produced in Australia, and there are currently 11 remaining examples in the world. This is one of three Dragons to have been operated in New Zealand. The first two were imported in 1935 and were used for civil transport before being impressed into the RNZAF. This particular aircraft was imported in 1953 and spent the next 14 years in a variety of civil roles around New Zealand before being written off in an accident. The two-seat Moth Miner was introduced in 1937. 115 of the type were built, and of these, five were imported into New Zealand for use by various aero clubs. During World War II, these aircrafts were impressed into RNZAF service and then returned to civilian life in 1946. All five are still in existence, although this example, ZK AKM, is the only one currently airworthy. Two of the others are being restored to airworthy condition, as are two further examples of the type imported in more recent times. Developed in 1945 as a 10-seat passenger and light transport aircraft, the Devon was the first all-metal de Havilland design. Produced to replace the aging Rapid, the Devon's two Gypsy Queen engines provided enough power to give the Devon a higher speed than the Rapide despite its extra weight. Over 500 aircraft of this type were produced up until 1967, and they've flown in almost every country in the world. The RNZAF operated 30 aircraft of the type between 1948 and 1981, several of which are still airworthy today. First flown in 1947, the Beaver was de Havilland Canada's second design after the Chipmunk. Production continued for 20 years, by which time over 1,600 of the type had been built. Around 30 Beavers have been used in New Zealand, many for agricultural work. This example is currently painted in the scheme of the only Beaver to be operated by the RNZAF. The original City of Auckland was used by the Commonwealth Trans-Antarctic Expedition and was operated in the Antarctic between 1957 and 1960. In January 1960, it was written off after an accident on the Beardmore Glacier. <laughs> 